Good morning. Today is another start of another working week and I have decided to wear this rose-colored um, one piece which is very easy to wear. I didn't even need to iron it apart from the belt. So it's ribbed. I have decided to wear it with my very tiny seed pearl studs. This is a little bit more creamy in color than the big one that I have that is white in color. Just a simple start and then I want to pair it with this. It is a multicolor strand pearl. Previously when I did show it on the video, it was not very clear. I hope that you can see it. If I put it against the dress, maybe it, it is so sweet because it comes in different different hues of cream, pink, greys and i think a little bit of dark chocolate as well it's really a lovely lovely necklace so i decided to put this on today together with this outfit the necklace and the earrings are just lovely for this dress and i've matched it with my hairband which is light pink in color with a ribbon on it i sold this in my boutique previously i have a few of these in different colors like in yellow the one that i usually wear today i'm wearing pink this would be just nice not too warm not too cold you can hear the birds <laughs> that's one of the things i like about staying here you can always hear the birds chirping so i just hope that um, you have a great week ahead and i'll see you when i get back home Good morning. Today I'm wearing um, this, I think it is silk satin dress. It is a vintage dress and I love this so much. This, the cut is so beautiful. It's like a shift dress. It's got some gathers in the front there, in the middle only so that there is some sort of detail and then it's got ruffled sleeves double layers of ruffled sleeves that just falls lovely on your arms i love the color because it's like a very warm color and today i've chosen to wear i've um, taken out my labradorite i seldom wear this now because it's a little bit heavy so it's a bit tiring for me to wear and then I've paired it together with my multicolored gemstone bracelet um, it's made up of um, many different colored stones this is one of my uh, favorite bracelets that I use to wear to the office um, it's got garnet um, amethyst rose quartz labradorite smoky quartz and yet the colors are all very very soft and very very um, calming colors they are not too bright i love this sort of colors because it's very very soothing very very beautiful subtle colors I've chosen to pair my clothing with my the same chanel bag that i wore yesterday and for today's perfume i have chosen to wear coco the original coco i always prefer all the original perfumes rather than the updated versions because i don't know why i don't like the updated perfumes they smell a bit too sweet and to me it smells very cheap like one of those cheap perfumes i still prefer all the older classical perfumes um, like if in Estee Lauder's case like white linen, um, cinnabar and then for Chanel I prefer the classic number 5, number 19 and Coco. Today is another sweltering hay warm day that is why I've chosen to wear this lightweight silk. Hi, I'm wearing this um, peach, sort of between peach and pink color. I think by now you should know this is one of my favorite colors because most of my outfits are in these colors. Um, today I'm wearing my pearl earring which I neglected to include in my pearl video. 
I think I have to do a part two because I missed out some of the pearl earrings. Um, if the camera can pick out, maybe I better take it out so that you can see it more clearly. There is this beautiful clasp in the shape of a leaf, diamante leaf. And the pearls are all baroque and different in colors from peach color to light brown to grays creams all in baroque shapes and with rose gold chain in between so the length is actually adjustable you can just um, clip clip the clasp to whatever length that you want and then the rest of the necklace falls down in this manner which is very nice I think it has just started to rain. I heard the rumblings earlier on, so I have matched it with my tiny um, freshwater pearls, which is also in cream color, which I've featured many times in my videos. And I have worn it with my ruby bracelet, tiny ruby bracelet with crosses in between. So it's XOXOXO love to myself. Well, if there's no one loving you, you might as well love yourself, right? So, I like this dress. I'm sorry, I'm so corny sometimes. Anyway, I like this dress because um, I call this the tulip-shaped sleeve. The tulip-sleeved um, shaped dress. And I almost gave it away because I thought that skirt is a little bit short for me. And it was a little bit tight a few months ago. But um, before go giving it away, I tried it on one more time and I'm so glad I, I did because it's such an easy dress to put on. It's very simple, casual, but if you dress it up, it can carry you off till the evening as well. So, oh no, I can hear the thunder rumbling, so I'll just get on with it as soon as possible. Good morning. Today is a extremely, extremely warm day. Extremely. So I've decided to wear this very, very lightweight chiffon dress. It is by a Singaporean designer called Arthur Yen. This dress goes back quite a few years. But um, since I have numerous clothes and then I seldom wear them very often. So and I take good care of them. So it still looks very pristine and new. I'm wearing this white outfit together with my double strand pearls which my mom gave to me and the strange thing about this is that because I seldom wear these is as it's a bit more dressy it's double strand today I noticed that I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up one of the pearls has turned into light grey color I don't know why that is anyway just to inform you these are seed pearls so they are sort of irregular in shape but the luster is still beautiful and still very breathtaking and I'm wearing it with my cream smaller pearl studs, not the big one. The big one is white and more roundish. I think these are also um, freshwater pearls instead of sea pearls. Sea pearls are more rounded and more expensive. And then um, because these are one of the first few necklaces that my mom gave to me when I just first started out before I purchased other sea water pearls. And this is also, it came together when she gave to me this necklace when I first started working. And this is double strand fresh water pearls as well. The ones that I always frequently use. I like sometimes to wear fresh water pearls because it's irregular in shape and then the luster is still there, the weight is still there so it still looks very genuine rather than sometimes if you wear the round ones people don't really know unless they really know about pearls and they can see the luster is so beautiful and they can feel the weight of the pearls. 
since I'm wearing so much pearls, I, I decided not to wear. I have a pearl hairband as well, but I just wore it with my very tiny seed pearls, four pearls um, hair grip. And um, I'm just going to be, <coughs> just a note, whenever I wear a white dress, I always remember what my mom told me. Um, whenever she wear a white dress, she used to have a friend who was, I do not know whether she was envious of her or her character is just like that. So when my mom is beautifully dressed up, because that lady, she, does, she doesn't really dress up, but she is very outspoken. So she will come to my mom and she would have like a chicken wing in her hand and her hand will be really oily. And my mom would be wearing this pristine, white, beautiful dress. And what she would do is she will say, Oh, Mary! And then she'll put her hand on my mom's uh, sleeves of the white dress and my mom was too nice to tell her to can you please take your hands your oily hands off my dress and she would inevitably leave her fingerprint of oily fingers on her my mom's pristine white dress so whenever i wear a white dress i always remember this story that my mom told me um yeah and also when i miss my mom so much what i do is um i still wear her favorite perfume one of her favorite perfumes especially in this kind of uh, summer weather when it's very hot and humid and i still refer back to the classics because her favorite brand has always been estee lauder and um, her favorite perfume for the daytime would be the classic white linen i still prefer the classic white linen estee lauder's classic white linen as opposed to the more modern updated version because the classic white linen, not only when my mom wore it, but when I was um, in a boarding school in Singapore as well, one of the piano teachers, she would also use white linen and she would spray it so liberally on her that whenever we want to know whether she has arrived to do the lessons for the other girls who are taking the piano lessons, we would know that she has arrived because we would literally smell white linen all over the place. She was such an elegant lady. The old white linen is very, very classic, very elegant, and it was chosen during Estee Lauder's lifetime. So that is one of my favorite perfumes. It's um, Estee Lauder's Pure Color Hot Copper number 50, and I love it so much, and I put it in my fridge. All my cosmetics, I put it in my cosmetics fridge so that it lasts very long. Even the perfumes will last long. It doesn't, I don't understand why people will put perfume out on the counter and then it, it will go off very fast and it's not so good. So I have a specific fridge just for my cosmetics and my perfumes and all that. So um, I just wanted to show you the whole dress because at the edge of it, there are some I'm not so sure what you call that. Is it embroidery or scallops or something like that? Um, at the bottom of it, some black flowers attached to it. So, and also because I'm very conscious of my arms and in case I get cold in the office, I have chosen to match the outfit with this grey linen, very thin grey linen. I think it's between linen and cotton. I don't know quite know how to explain it to you, but it's made in Japan and Japanese people have always been very, very particular about the materials. It has to breathe, it has to be comfortable and it still has to be looking beautiful. Even the colour of the grey is so elegant and it's got this scalloped, I do not know what you call that, forgive me, leaves on it and each leaf has got um, you know, holes through it so that it's breathable during summertime. It's a summer summer coat. I'm going to be wearing this over my dress as well. 